chairman and, and a great organizer, obviously, uh, Dr. Paul. Let's give Dr. Paul a round of applause. I'm extremely honored to be recognized tonight uh, for many reasons. One, because of the great work that you have done uh, uh, over the years for the great uh, purpose and mission and vision that, that you have. And equally as important, I'm honored because of the other honorees. Uh, this is a very distinguished group of folk. I don't know how I made it. I'm just glad I think I, I made it because I'm a friend of Rudy Moyes. So let's give Rudy another round. Rudy and I go way back. We're, we're business partners. We're, we're good friends. Uh, we're both tall, dark, and handsome. I'm just joking. But, but for those of you who can and have the wherewithal to help with this uh, campaign, we, we certainly would appreciate that. Uh, let me share with you very quickly three things uh, because I think it's important whenever we get an opportunity to uh, take a moment to reflect and to contemplate. The three things I talk about, uh, first, vision. Uh, in a great book of faith and history, uh, we find these words. Where there is no vision, the people perish. I'm particularly excited because Noah has vision. They understand that those who have have to take care of those who don't. So to reach back and make sure that the least of these, particularly those in beloved Haiti, we reach back and, and lend a helping hand. If I can help someone along the way, then my living will not be in vain. So first, thank you for vision. The second point I'd like to, to focus on is Preparation. You see, I was a Boy Scout, and the Boy Scout motto, my friends, was be prepared. Be prepared for what, you might ask? Well, for just about anything, Mrs. Paul, good times, uh, bad times, ups, downs, sunshine, rain, and New Yorkers on tomorrow, even a snowstorm. <laughs> we need to be prepared. Get the shovels and the salt bread, because it looks like it's on, on the way. So you've got to be prepared. We don't know what's coming. Healthcare reform. Economic downturns, economic upturns, but we've got to be prepared. The third point I'd like to share with you is the notion of collaboration. You see, all of us have done pretty good. We've had a good education. We uh, fortunately have uh, been able to provide for our families, and we put food on our table, as evidenced by uh, the abdominal birth of some of us. Uh, but you know, there's an African proverb that that sort of speaks to, to, to a lot of, of that. In the notion of collaboration, there's a, there's a, a saying that goes, no man is an island, no man or woman stands alone. The African proverb uh, makes, it, makes it very clear, I think. Even when we think of strong individuals like Dr. Paul and Dr. Moise and his other honorees tonight, they're just one individual. Even when we think about one organization like NOAA or the National Medical Association, these organizations alone can do but so much. The African proverb that sort of brings that all together for me simply states that a single stick, individual, organization, country, is easily broken, but many sticks, when bound together, can't be broken. So vision, preparation, collaboration, these three. And on a night like tonight, when things seem to be going so well, when we've enjoyed these culinary delights provided by this great institution, when we've come out and enjoyed the beauty of this edifice, when we have had an opportunity to fellowship with those of us who are doing reasonably well, I'm reminded once again of an African proverb. It simply states, just because the water is calm does not mean that the crocodiles have gone. So my friends, let's not forget that 
But for the grace of God, we could be that uninsured. We could be that Medicaid beneficiary. We could be our brothers and sisters who are suffering in our beloved Haiti. So as I take my seat, I want you to remember that it's important that we always do our best. See, doing good is okay, but being good just isn't good enough. We've got to do our best. Being mediocre is, I don't get your mind, but we've got to do our best. So to each of you here tonight and to this great organization, I want you to be encouraged and remember to always do your best and remember it this way. Good, better, best. Never ever let it rest, not until our good becomes our better and our better becomes our best. God bless you, God keep you.